At their conventions in the summer of 2010, the Watchtower Society released a new brochure titled, Was Life Created? Near the end of the brochure, they attempt to sum up what they feel is the most important reason for accepting their brand of God. The speaker at the convention said something similar. If ultimate meaning in life were non-existent, then you would have no purpose in life other than to try to do some measure of good and perhaps pass your genetic traits on to the next generation. Hmm, that sounds a lot like this explanation of the meaning of life. Humans were to have oversight of all the earth and its animal creation. God gave a wonderful mandate to the first pair while they were in Eden. Be fruitful and become many and fill the earth. That's from the Watchtower Society's brochure, What is the Purpose of Life? How Can You Find It? Our purpose in life is what we make of it. For many, that includes passing on their genetic material. Regardless, why does our life have to have an ultimate meaning? Are you disappointed with your pets, with your house, or with the latest film you saw or music you listened to simply because you could not discern an ultimate purpose? The brochure essentially closes with the argument that if you don't believe in creation, then life is just too sad. That's like if I told my doctor he must be wrong about my terminal cancer diagnosis because that would leave my children fatherless. Such a sad outcome couldn't happen, so there must have been something wrong with the test. The doctor must be wrong because I can't possibly accept the alternative. The same page of the brochure also claims, Many who believe in evolution assert that God does not exist or that he will not intervene in human affairs. Well, I certainly can't speak for others who accept evolution, especially since, unlike Jehovah's Witnesses, they are free to have differing thoughts and opinions on the matter without risk of being excommunicated. But speaking for myself, I in no way assert that God does not exist. Like Santa Claus, Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, the Easter Bunny, the Abominable Snowman, the Tooth Fairy, the Phoenix, Mermaids, Dragons, Fairies, Pixies, Hobbits, Zeus, Unicorns, Griffins, Goblins, Gnomes, Gargoyles, Thor, Trolls, Wookies, Elves, Tribbles, Werewolves, Centaurs, and Minotaurs, the Witnesses God might exist. What I assert instead is that I see no evidence for his existence, and any arguments put forth for his existence fail in the first for not being able to explain why he does exist, but none of these other creatures do. Second, I do not assert that he will not intervene in human affairs, merely that there is no compelling evidence that he ever has or does.